This is going to be another beta tank. This one's really nice. It's a Koi. Maybe we'll get this one. I don't want to show you guys too much, but uh, let's go ahead and fill this thing up. Both beta tanks are looking absolutely amazing. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everyone. And uh, yeah, we're getting another tank. We're in Walmart now. This is going to be another beta tank because we just installed that beta shelf. If you guys saw last video, I think it is. Maybe two videos ago, but... Got a new beta shelf and we're going to be putting tons of tanks on there. So now we're getting another one. So hopefully this doesn't leak. And if it does, we're doing this video earlier in the day because now I don't have school, but doing it earlier in the day. So if it does leak, we can come back and get another one. And there are two of them. So now we got to get one. All right, so since the last one leaked, even though it wasn't cracked, I think I'm just gonna open this up real quick and make sure it isn't cracked. So I think it's all set. I think we're good to get this one. Um, I don't see any cracks, even though the last one wasn't because it was cracked, it was because the seal was like broken. Um, but there is another one here just in case. So we're gonna get this one. And now we're gonna head over to PetSmart to get a decoration and then Petco to get plants because they have better live plants and they're cheaper. So just a little word of advice if you guys set up tanks. So uh, let's go to PetSmart. We're gonna go into PetSmart and get a decoration because they have a bigger selection for decorations than Petco does, but their live plants are a lot more expensive. So uh, let's go in now. Let's just take a quick look at these bettas here, but they're usually like dying here for some reason. This one's really nice. It's a koi and it probably is the healthiest one here. It's really, really nice. This one's really nice too. I don't know what kind it is. Look, yeah, it looks like a Dumbo half moon. This one's kind of nice as well, but they don't look that healthy. Too bad this is $65 because it looks so nice in the big tank. <laughs> so many different holes and everything, but it's way too much money. This one's kind of cool as well. This one's only $35. We may get this actually. This is kind of nice. It's not too bad. Enough room for the beta. Ooh, maybe we'll get this. I think we might get this because this is a lot of room for the beta to go into. Yeah, we're definitely getting this. Um, and you know what? Back on top. I don't think the beta and fit in it, but I think we're gonna get both of these because buy one, get one half off, so this will only be $1.50. This will be $5.99, so we'll get these two. Now we gotta go to Petco, so I'll see you there. And now we are at Petco. I'm gonna bring the camera in this time. If you guys know, I kind of have a little history with uh, the camera in Petco, but we gotta get some plants for this tank and I believe I'm gonna need one or two other things, but I may not get it, I don't know. Let's go in now. So this will be the next video, getting a fish. I don't know if I'm gonna get a baby. Comment down below if I should get a baby beta next video for this tank or if I should get an adult. So this is the choice that they have for the adults. I'll be getting it in a couple days, so probably won't get any more in, but there's a decent selection and there's more back here actually. So comment below if I should get an adult better or a baby better for this tank. All right, so what we came for is plants. We need three plants. So we gotta pick out three of these plants or maybe one big and two small. I don't know yet, but we need one or, we need two to three plants. So let's get these. All right, so I think I'm gonna get this one right here. This is the same plant that I had in the other tank, but I really like how it looks. So we're gonna get one of these and then try and figure out one more plant that we want. Well, this is a beta plant actually actually oh it's a topper though can i put it inside i only have roots submerged in water oh okay well we can't get that one i guess this looks pretty cool maybe this one i like the leaves of it maybe we'll get this one asian water fern these are the two that i have in the other tank but we'll definitely get these two and then maybe we'll get this one these three plants are what we're going to get for the tank as well as those two decorations and it's only a five gallon tank but i may add stuff eventually so uh let's go check out all right quick pit stop for the frosties thank you Comment down below, chocolate or vanilla, what do you get? And just like that, we are now in the fish room. If you guys didn't see this video where I set this up, go check it out. This is where the tank is gonna be going, is right here, um, because this is the beta barracks, the beta racks, whatever you guys wanna call it. So, you know, since there's an extra shelf, there may be a couple more bettas that we're getting. But yeah, make sure you guys go check out that video if you haven't seen it, but uh, now it is time to go get that tank from the car and uh, start putting this thing together. All right, so now we have everything. The uh, tank, since I opened it in the store, PetSmart bag and the Petco bag is uh, right here. So all of this is what we need to set up this tank and the sand that is under there. So uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up. You guys already know the drill. Looks like the tank that a couple videos ago that actually broke. That tank did not come like that because the lid was open. Everything was open. It was a different packaging. 
So there is a chance that it was returned and that's why it didn't work. But here's our tank right here and it is gonna go right next to this baby betta. Her name is Lila. Lila, I don't know if she's definitely a girl because it's Petco and uh, you can't always trust Petco. We're gonna get that tank out and of course, we gotta make sure it doesn't leak. So we gotta bring it into the bathroom, make sure it doesn't leak and then we can go ahead and start setting it up. Well, surprise, surprise, it actually held the water. So now we're gonna go ahead and of course we're going to put in some sand. I say this every video because I feel like it is not on the internet enough, but I use this play sand uh, from Home Depot. It's like $5 a bag, you get this giant bag. And uh, that one single bag right there, that one that's like almost empty, has covered, has covered that five gallon and this 29 gallon. And I've lost a bunch of sand if you guys want to see me doing the whole sand process, you can check out some of my other tank setup videos. But also comment down below and tell me if I should like, not skip steps, but basically like shorten them. Like, do you guys like to see, you know, the full process or do you guys want to see me like abbreviate a little bit and, you know, just say that I'm going to wash the sand instead of showing you guys washing me washing the sand. That was a whole mouthful, but comment down below because I am a little curious. Um, I feel like it gets a little too repetitive, so I try not to you know, do the same thing every time. Let's go ahead and start getting the sand in there. All right, so as you guys can see, the sand is now in the tank, and that of course means that it is time for the plants and the decorations. Everything has to be rinsed. These can just get rinsed under some tap water. I already took the tags off. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, just rinse those out real quick. And then these three plants right here are gonna get rinsed in this. So basically what you do is you just pop the top off, you pull the plants out and uh, you just shake it a little bit in the water, you know, not to damage the roots, but to get all of this like gel stuff off. Um, it keeps the plants alive, but you don't want that in your tank. So make sure you guys always rinse your plants when you get them if they come in these like little tubes. Actually, what I'm going to do first is get this filter on the back because I just want to see what it's going to look like with the plants and everything. Well, uh, that's quite a surprise. So it looks like we have two plants here actually, not just one. I don't know if that was supposed to happen because I've never bought that size plant, but somehow we got two. So, I mean, I'm gonna take it. I don't want to show you guys too much, but uh, let's go ahead and fill this thing up. All right, so the tank, I'm gonna, I don't wanna show you guys too much. So the tank is complete, but I'm gonna give it a couple days so you guys can actually see it when it's all cleared up and everything and looks crystal clear. I'm gonna throw in some of this to help cycle the tank. So I'll see you guys in a couple days. All right guys, so it is like a whole week later. I did pick out a betta fish, so you guys will see that next video. Let me just throw some B-roll and then we'll start talking about it. So uh, throw you to the B-roll. So this is the finished tank right here. It is absolutely amazing. All right, so let me show you guys the modification I made. So the filter was a little bit strong. It is the exact same filter that's in this tank and I was having a little bit of trouble with it because as you guys can see, it has created like a crater all the way to the bottom of the tank with the sand because it's so strong. So what I decided to do, because I can't get sponge filters just yet, I decided to add in some gravel into the front of it and it has slowed it down so much. So it's also good because beneficial bacteria will grow on the rocks and stuff, um, but also it slowed down the flow just enough so that I can actually keep these filters in here until I can get some sponge filters. And also just wanted to mention, I know some of you had con some, some concerns about this, but I'm actually going to Home Depot in the next couple days and getting some two by fours and I'm gonna stick them in between so it'll actually give it just enough strength and everything. It, it'll be good, all right? So don't worry about this shelving unit. It's fine to have these two tanks on here for right now. Um, but then I'm gonna go ahead and add some more pieces to it and stuff and it'll make it a lot more sturdy. Cause as you can see, it is just like a little bit angled. That is okay, cause we are going to fix that. But yeah, this tank and this tank, both better tanks are looking absolutely amazing. Her blue is coming in even stronger now. 
Um, I think you guys might be able to tell is even stronger now, which is absolutely great. She loves that betta log. So I'm really happy to have this betta shelf now. I do have room for two more tanks down there because I have a lot of fish to buy. I have this 29 gallon to fill still. I have two 10 gallons, which only have a little bit of life in them. So they're definitely gonna need more fish and I have to redo both of these tanks. Drop a comment down below guessing what kind of betta fish that I bought for this tank. Also drop some names for the new betta, even though that's mostly gonna be the next video. But if I see a good name on here, I might just pick it. And let me know what you guys think of this tank down below what you guys want to see in future tanks and the tanks that i already have that i have to fill um but yeah comment down below all of that make sure you guys leave a like subscribe hit that post notification bell on because i do upload every other day that is it so i will see you guys in the next video and uh that is it bye